All right, this is right off the web, and this is off of uh, Wikipedia, but it's very representative of truth, I believe. And if you look over here uh, to the right, you're going to see that's what they consider to be waves of, of light, like bars of light. I, I don't know why they've assumed this. But when these bars of light hit, they show these little things passing through, and because they're radiating in such a manner, you see these impressions on the back plate. And I disagree with that. I, I mean, from, I, I do at this point, because you know, I th thought it through, and it didn't make sense. I, I, but anyway, what I did find is this. This is what does make sense. If there was a cluster of particles similar to our solar system moving through a plate like that, virtually screwing through that plate, it accounts for exactly the behavior of, of what we, we see and what is on the back plate. It's identical because they're not waves, they're dots. And anyway, I'll show you that in, 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 in a second. All right, I came across this today, and it, it sparked a little interest in me, and, and I think I see something here that's pretty interesting. Now, there's a, a, a double slit experiment, um, which use, and, it, and it's used to show the wave um, principles and the particle principles of, of light. And, um, and it's... The way they're showing it, it, it splits up the wave, and uh, you know it's it's tricky. But uh, when I'm looking at something like this right here, it almost exactly explains what they're seeing. And this is what we live on: is a, is a planet that's spinning around here. But here's the, here's the key to my thought process, and it could, I could be totally wrong. But I, you know, it should be looked at. Somebody should look at this with with a, a thoughtful eye. Here's here's my thought. We all know about quantum physics and you know a lot of people do anyway you got you got a, a, a nucleus and then away from the nucleus is there's there's shells of electrons and they ex only exist at certain distances and of course depending upon what kind of a molecule is and, and, and so forth it is it's different distances but they're, they're in quantum distances a certain distance between each shell look at what you have here a shell another shell another shell another shell. My point being is these distances are the wavelengths and they are of, it looks to me, exacting distances. Of, so in other words they are exacting quantas, quantums. And each one of these, and as this, the, the system moves through space at apparently the speed of light, let's say, the massive center component, which is the sun, would lead everything, just like you took a baseball that had, was surrounded with all kinds of little atoms flowing around in a circle, you threw it as hard as you could throw it, this is exactly what you'd get. The ones that were closest to it would stay close, and they would have the short durations. Those are the most intense atomic particles, hydrogen and that sort of stuff. Then you go out to a next quantum, then you go out to the next quantum, and these lag further and further behind, and they all try to catch up. And it sure looks like that's what's going on to me. I don't know, it's just, it's just something that struck me. Um, and the double slit experiment, well here, let me just show you what this looks like going forward. Now this was from a guy named Peter um, Cullinane, and he allowed me to show you this, and I appreciate it very much, but this appears to be a light wave flowing through space, carrying both of the characteristics that we're talking about. Particle, wave, a particle which is, is, is a, a something heavy and weighty that goes through with mass, and then the wave, so it's up and it's down, and it's up and it's down, so it appears here and it appears there. Now watch this. This is what the double slit experiment is about. Now, I'm going to back this out of here real quickly. Okay, now, this is on um, Wikipedia. Uh, and I'm going to just read this to you. Now, it says that the, the light is always found to be absorbed at the screen at discrete points. So it's discrete points. 
as individual particles. Now this is exactly what you would expect, and I'm going to show you how it, it shows up on a pattern in a second here. So it's individual particles, not waves, particles. Now the interference pattern appearing via the varying densities of these particles hits on the screen. Now that's so they're not like a, a wave on the screen, they're particles appearing over and over and over until they build up a density that appears to be a, a, a bar. Okay, now, furthermore, versions of the experiment that include detectors at the slits find that each detected photon passes through one slit, as would a classical particle. It goes through and then it goes through, you know, and it, as a particle and not through both slits as would a wave. And this is exactly what you expect. The particle goes through, it's gone. And when it hits the second slit, there's nothing left. The particle's already through. Um, these results demonstrate the principle of wave-particle duality. And this, this vortex of spinning solar system through, the, through space and time <laughs> Sure looks like it, it mimics what they're talking about here. I think it's very interesting. I mean, it could be totally wrong, but it sure looks like what's going on to me. I find it extremely interesting. Here's your... Think about what would happen if you had a plate there that had slits in it. A slit here and a slit here. As this hit it, this would go right through. And then and it would be gone. So when it hit the slit at the bottom, it's not there anymore. So anyway, that it's... Now, let me show you what happens, how they build up those little dots. So in other words, we're talking about almost like a dot matrix printer. Now let's watch this over here. All right, I'm going to bring you over here. Now, when you look at these dots, as it starts out, little more, little more, little more, and the the things are hitting, they're hitting as it's spinning, hitting, 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 and as they continue to hit, they start to build up a pattern of stripes that looks like stripes. They're not really stripes. They're just continuous hits in, in a region more likely than other regions to be hit. And <laughs> to me, this really shows that light is almost like, like a solar system. It's virtually the same as a solar system. And we may be living on a light particle for all I know.